This is the view from the 11th floor of the Balkis of an apartment that's 7,500 square feet with its own pool. That's managed by the building. It's selling for 3.9 million, where the original asking price was over seven. And it's come down, down, down again. This is all the terrace. And we're going to go inside to have a look at the rest of the place with Eve and Daenerys. But the view is amazing. Unobstructed ocean view. You can't really get that anywhere and they're not going to build anything. There's nothing above us. This is all part of the unit that we will see. There's two floors. Let's go inside. So you walk in, you have this large space that just keeps going and going. And you have lots of light from these windows. The ceilings are raised. And then this is the entrance with the stairs to the second level. This way is to the kitchen and the maid's room. So the maid's room, this is the utility room where you would put the washer dryer. This is the maid's room with the maid's bathroom. Small but functional space. And then the maid's bathroom is the same style as you would expect. And the kitchen has no appliances, it's just bare. Which is here. Dark. Dark colored theme for all the cabinets. And the countertop is probably some type of granite, I'm not sure. Ceilings here are a little low. The doors have all this, you, diff, this style of handle with the dark door. The tiles are the same throughout. And that's my noisy girls. This is just a small area, and this is me. I actually pushed the wrong button there. This is the first bathroom, which is... needs my uh, flash, because it has no power, no electricity. And this is the first bedroom, for which that bathroom is which we saw on the outside. So the be bedroom has some slightly raised ceilings, which the aircon blows this way. Has a big double door and a small window in the corner, but the view is amazing, as we know. And then everything else is upstairs. There's four bedrooms upstairs, including a fire escape that's for the rest of the building. This is the main door. This is a small storage. And then upstairs, we have this fire escape. Which seems like it could be part of our unit, but I don't think it is. This is the fire escape for the whole building. It just keeps going down, down. This is also the entrance to the roof. I imagine for the air cons. But I think this is actually part of the building, not part of our unit because it's locked. And this is the garbage chute here. So again, we go back inside. This is our electrical panel. And then all the bedrooms are here. 
Again, the doors are very dark colored. And some bedrooms have the raised ceiling, some do not. This has a terrace, or a balcony, it's small. Very big bedroom with a walk-in closet and the ensuite bathroom with a big tub. It's not a jacuzzi, just a regular tub, extra size, two sinks and a shower, stand-up shower. Now the sinks, the, the countertops are a dark, solid color. And then the other bedrooms are a little different. So this one has no raised ceiling. And the aircon blows from here. But it has, again, a big space for closet as well as another stand-up shower, a bigger one this time, with the tub that's smaller, and a different style for the countertops for this sink. Same material, I think just a different finish. And the other bedrooms, are very similar to this one. It's just the master that has the different bathroom countertops. So this bedroom, same ceilings. Aircon is blowing here and here. And it has again a walk-in closet with the same bathroom style. Ceilings, toilet, and tub. No stand-up shower. And the last bath bedroom, which has a large place just outside, has the same sink. And this looks like what? Speakers or just lights? I think they're just lights. Same as this one. Yeah. So again, toilet. Nothing behind. Tub. And then the bedroom itself has the same height ceiling. With the balcony. and the slight small window with a beautiful view. Okay, and that's it. This theme is the Kingdom of Sheba. It is not an old style, it's still relevant to that theme. This is the end of the terrace, which has the view of the ocean. And you can see other units across here. But again, starting from this terrace, which has a very specific theme, it goes all the way to the other side of the property with the pool there. To here, where you can see again into the next building. Now there's a private beach that way, which we will see later. This is the first bedroom entrance, which is closed. <laughs> I'll open that later. This is the living room entrance. Now this wall can probably be knocked down to make an opening similar to this for the living space if we don't need the extra bedroom. And this is the hallway in the Balkis. Very stylish. I like how the lights make those arches on, this, 
on the uh, on the wall here. It's a cool design. Okay. So that was the end unit where we're just coming from. We saw the one at the very end of the hallway there. The private beach down that end. This is the pool that's currently closed due to the coronavirus. All pools and gyms are closed in Dubai. But this is only for the residents. It's a fairly large pool, stylish. And then there's a private beach down this way. So this is the pool from the beach side. The kiddie pool is here. And then this is the beach, private beach, with no one on it. There is. Almost no one on it. There's a few people sun tanning. But it's a very long beach. I imagine it's shared with the eight and everything along it. And that's one of the fronds with a big empty <laughs> place for a massive villa. There is Atlantis and the Royal Atlantis. And the beach just keeps going. So this looks like it's all for swimming. There's no boats going here. Okay, pretty impressive. So this is the uh, ocean. It's a bit rocky. I was expecting it to be a little nicer in the water for the start of the water, but the, boat, the goal is to get in and swim. It's all very well maintained. The sand is not very deep, but you can see that they groom it regularly and not too many people walking on it. Okay. So this is the Balkis from the inside courtyard. Which has villas like this that are worth even more than the villas with the outside view because they face the ocean this way. That's the eight in the distance. Okay. This is the outside of the Balkis as we're driving up in the Uber. We are going to go see a unit inside there. A 7,000 square foot apartment with a sea view. Okay, let's see how it will be. This is actually a large development. I believe it was handed over uh, 12 years late. 